So, right. bring, believe it. Bring, why will you bring your source? Why, why will you believe that Jesus is a, a Jesus come to die for my cancer? And meanwhile, people are still seeing. It well, doesn't make sense. No, that's it. Here's the thing. If you um, if you steal something from a shop, yeah, and a shopkeeper forgives you, yeah, you have to bring the thing back. No. No, if they, if no, no, sorry, I, I, answer, I hastily answer the question. If you, if you, if you steal something from a shop, mm. and the shop owner can has so many things that he can do, yeah. he can run, he can either leave the staff for you and forgive you to go with it, or he take his staff and forgive you and let you go. It happened to so many people in this country. It happened to my friend. He went and he shoplift. They caught him in Italy. They leave the, the guy was pity for him. They leave the the gin. He took a gin. They leave the gin for him, and they even call for him. He said, "Don't do that again, my people. I know you are poor man. I will go." You see, so you in that scenario, <laughs> you are giving me. No, there are so many different. No, 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 but that's a good one. So when they let him go, yeah. if he came back and did that again, what would happen? If you do it again, it means you are now. Listen, if you do it again and the person still has empathy, he can still forgive you or let you go. Right. Or if he doesn't want, he call police for it. But I, as a, as a Muslim, I don't believe in that. I believe in accountability. Okay. Yeah. If you steal and I'm the owner, I will try to do what is just. Okay. I will try to take that thing and ask, ask you not to steal again. Advise you. And see, in Islam, when somebody steal, when somebody steal, they try to find out about what causing him yeah, to steal. Yeah. You know, mm. to know his circumstances. If they can help him stop that, they will. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say. I think my example has got too many variables, but I've got a, another one I thought of. Okay. Which is more precise. Okay, which one? So say if you're driving a car, mm -hmm. and obviously uh, you, you're like a middle, you know, middle earner. And, and you crash into someone's Rolls Royce, yeah. then they can they can forgive you of that, but their Rolls Royce is still scratched, so it still needs to be repaired. Yeah. Right. So you so you they can do you a deal where they know you're poor and say, okay, I know you can't afford it, but just give me X amount of money, uh, so I can paint it up and make it look decent, and we're fine. So, so notice that the the guy committed something, something happened, and he got forgiven, but because the world was scratched, yeah. it needs to be fixed. If, if, if the guy fixes it, that's not, that's not uh, forgiveness. Because he pay, if the guy has to fix the Rolls Royce, he doesn't forgive him. Because he uses his money to fix the Rolls Royce. No, 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 but that's the point. It's a Rolls Royce. So the guy, the guy who hit it, yeah. can't to repair it. So who will repair it? He will say, he will pay, pay it from his pocket and let the guy go. Is that what you are saying? No, no. In order for it to be for justice, because remember, if the guy scratched his car, I yeah. just let him off. Yeah. The next man could come and do it. No, listen. If the let's I did, I still haven't got to your point very well. Let me say if the, are, you, are you saying that if I come and scratch your your Rolls Rolls Royce mm. and you tell me you forgive me, tell me oh I don't want you to pay for the damage. Yeah. Go. No, or is no, that what you are saying? No, no, what I'm saying is that because it's a Rolls Royce and the person scratched it, yeah. you can't afford to repair it. <laughs> so what will happen? No, so in order for justice, because justice is that... Then he has to find a way to pay for it if he doesn't forgive him. No, no but this is my point. Yeah. Is that we want the Rolls Royce to be fixed, isn't it? But the guy can't afford it. So the guy owning the Rolls Royce has to do a deal. Do a deal about finding a way about how to repair it. Yeah. Yeah, so it doesn't mean there's no forgiveness there. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. We are talking about forgiveness here. So your your analogy is wrong. I'm talking about, listen, if you forgive me, if I hit your Rolls Royce and you you know that I cannot afford it and you forgive me and let me go, that's good on your part. But if you are telling me that, no, I'm not forgiving you, you have to find a way, even though you know that I cannot afford it. I have to find a way to fix it. So that's the difference. And, uh, I have to fix it in any how I can do. To, I can, I can, I can. I can do to, to fix it. Yeah, okay, yeah. Right. So we are say, I'm saying that 
listen, forgiveness. When he, uh, this is forgiveness. If you even look at Christian theology of forgiveness, it is not just because Jesus was uh, was what he was innocent. Yeah. Jesus did not commit any crime. You, according to you guys, Adam committed crime, and he, he inherited the crime, yeah. the sin. Mm -hmm. And Jesus now, God has to come by Himself, send His only begotten Son to die for the sin. Yeah. You see, and it means Jesus was innocent. Mm -hmm. If you go to, if you commit a crime, in, I would use ourselves as an example. We are human beings, and God created. In, have you ever seen this kind of example in a courtroom? In, in, in a courtroom whereby uh, somebody commits a crime, then the judge will take his son and say, oh, I, I have pity for you, I'm going to kill my son, or I'm going to put my son in prison so that you will go free. Oh, no, it doesn't make sense. Because, because it work, but here's the thing. You see, um, don't you, uh, I don't know if you can see, can't see this, but do you know it's like with the Quran yeah. and the way the story of uh, Adam, that there's actually a hole in it? What hole? Tell me. Because yeah, Adam was in paradise. Yeah. Yeah, or in the garden. They call it a garden, yeah. but they call yeah. it a paradise as well. Yeah, yeah. paradise. Yeah. yeah. Garden, and, right. and so he ate the fruit. Yeah. And, because, and Allah told him not to eat the fruit. Yeah. And so when he ate it, yeah. and his wife ate it, yeah. they got thrown out. Yeah. So yeah. 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 So well, I thought Allah forgave them. Forgave them. Allah forgave them for, for not hearing his command. But you are forgetting that. Listen, whether Adam ate the fruit or did not eat the fruit, he was destined to be stationed on planet Earth. That was God's plan in the initial stage. Man. So, go to Surah Al-Baqarah, I'll show you. When Allah swallowed what Allah said, he, listen, before creating Adam, before he's going to create Adam, he told the angels that he's going to create a, another creation, okay? As a vessel gerent on the planet Earth. Okay, so Adam was already being destined to be placed on earth, whether he ate the fruit or not. In Islamic point of view, we are saying that that was a test for Adam. You see, then Allah, listen, our main purpose of being on planet earth was to be tested. It's a testing ground. I'm coming, I'll show you them. I want to explain to them before I show you the verses right. that I'm going to And so you to understand that it's not because Adam ate the fruit. That's why Allah threw him out of paradise. That was not a reason. This is not what Muslims believe. Actually, you've been talking to a lot of Muslims for a very long time. You should have known this. I don't know why you don't know this. I'm really surprised. Trust me. Because you talk to a uh, 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 listen, Muslim Islamic theology, we 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 uh, we believe that man was created to be given a special assignment on this planet Earth. That is as a vice gerent here and to be tested. Okay, I'm right. coming. So Adam, Adam eating the fruit was the first test for him. Okay, right. it was not meant to throw him out of Jannah or keep him in Jannah. So in paradise. So if he didn't eat it, what would have happened? He would have still be on what? On, on, on planet Earth. Because this is what, what was his main reason why he was created. Let me show you the verse. I hope I, I don't know it on top of my head, but it's in Surah al Baqarah. Surah al Baqarah. Oh, yeah. I'm good. And you? Yeah. Michael, how are you doing? You're right. Yeah. yeah. The fair when the story of Adam came, let's see. I don't know the verses. Okay, I, luckily I found it. So I look. Remember when your Lord said to the angels, I am going to place a successive human authority on earth. They asked Allah, will you place in it someone who will spread corruption there and shed blood while we glorify your praises and proclaim your holiness? Allah responded, I know what you do not know. You see, this verse is telling you that was the first when I, it's called Rabbuka lil malaika to inni ja'ilu til ardi khalifa. Khalifa means a vice, vice gerent on planet Earth. So Adam, that was the first thing he told the angels. He's going to create 
a, another creation. You might have placed them as successors. So we are placed here as. But, but here's the interesting thing. He says, mm -hmm. the angels, they said, will you place upon the one who causes corruption therein yeah. and sheds blood yeah. while we declare your praise and yeah. sanctify you? So, how do they know that? Okay. The, according to the Musafirin, eh, yeah. the, the angels, they saw, because we believe in another creation called the jinn. Yeah. So the jinn was created about 2,000 years before Adam. Mm. So when the you know the jinn, we believe when I call to jinn now, well, inside Ibn Ali Abudin, Allah said in Quran, he has created man, uh, the jinn and mankind solely to worship him. Mm. So we are given free choice about how to, uh, to worship Allah or to disobey. We have free, uh, somehow free, uh, limited free will. To, to, to make choices for ourselves. So we and the jinn, we don't believe the other creation has this special uh, um, authority. So, yeah, but I'm coming, I'm still talking, I'll have a vision. Uh -huh. You tell me, how do the angels, uh, the angels know, uh, know this? So the jinn was created, and they were on the planet uh, committing this kind of crime. Committing crime and sharing blood. It's not in the Quran. I'm talking about a hadith here, man. I, 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 I'm talking about a hadith here. Huh? So the the jinn get to know this because of so the jinn was uh, sorry the angels already saw what the, the the jinn did before. So they were curious to see another creation going to be placed on planet Earth, given same authority to do the same thing. So they were just not questioning. They were just, but they were also hiding the fact that Adam is going to be a very, a, a, a moral being who will make choices. Some human being will always look at the wrong, um, at the wrong side of things. There are, but, but why? Listen, because I say human being, yeah. we always look at uh, 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 what man can, uh, man can do but evil, but we don't see the good side. So, the angels get to know this. I'm just trying to tell you how the angels get to know. According yeah. to Musafiri, yeah. this is the, how the angels get to know that. Uh, the, the, uh, because the, the, the jinn also <laughs> commit the same thing. So they were asking, asking w w another while because the angels, we believe that the angels, they are not sinless, they come, whatever Allah commands, we are not like Christian where they say there are fallen angels. Muslims, we don't believe that. You know that. We don't believe in fallen angels. <laughs> so we believe the angels are upright, whatever Allah commands, they do. They never go wrong. But the jinn, we have a choice to disobey or to agree. We and the jinn, jinn and mankind. So this is why how the, uh, the angels get to know about this phenomenon. So, so, so he made the angels so that they they can only obey. Yeah. So what is the point of making the jinn so that they uh, can disobey if they want to? Why not just make them all the same? No, the jinn. Okay. This is part of our test as human beings. The jinn. Remember, we believe Satan came from the jinn. He believes he came. He was not like you people believe. He was from among the angels. So, so it says that the Quran is from the jinn. Yes. It yes, it's in the Quran. I can show you Surah Al Kahf. I can. It's very clear. Allah said Satan was from the jinn. He was not an, an angel. Okay, he was. He came from the jinn. The reason I can also tell you how he came to be with the angels, worshiping Allah because of his piety, his piety. Because the, when I told you the other jinn, the way they were corrupted. But he believes because he has a spirit. That's why Allah loves human beings who are using his free will to come to him. Because we we have a choice to go away from him or come to him. So when you use this free will to come to Allah, he appreciates you more than even the angels. You are more higher in the sight of God than the angels. Because the angels, they just obey God. They don't have a choice. Right. So, okay, so you know the, the, the jinn, do they die? Yes, of course they die. The jinn die. They, they will be resulted everything. <laughs> everything. The jinn die. But Satan's life is prolonged till the end of of, 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 of the, the end of human of human being. Then Satan too will die. Okay. So, but Satan was given this special compensation to live because he's gonna influence man to do to make wrong choices. You see. So the purpose of the jinn there is to save man, man as well. To do to, to try to save us to, to, to influence us to go wrong and the angels are there to bring us closer to Allah. So man 
in, huh? in, in, a, in a situation where we are saying that um, the, the, the gene, there are good gene, we are not saying that all the gene are evil. There are gene who are also obedient right. to, to God. But there are some who follow Satan, uh, Iblis, yeah. his side. So, so the, the bad ones, the bad, the bad gene, they always, we call them satanic. Those satanic beings, we call them the gene. They are always influenced man to go wrong. So this is the purpose of them also living. Right, so, so Adam made man so that they already, so when you made Adam, Adam yeah. could already die. So of course, Adam, Adam, listen, that's what I told you, Adam was created to be tested, just like in the Muslim belief, okay? The first test he w gone through was the, the, the garden. Allah placed him in the garden to give him his first test. Because man, we are all going to be tested. So that's what told Adam is not because he ate the fruit. That's why he was thrown out of paradise. He ate the fruit because he was being tested by God. You see, even if you read the, the, the Quran in narration, it's so different from the Bible where in the Bible, uh, angel has to guide the tree and all this thing. Allah just said, this thing, don't eat it. Because he know that it's not going to harm him. He's just testing him to see whether he will use the free will to come. But he failed. Right. Yeah. So, so, so how was um, Allah supposed to, sorry, how was uh, Adam and his wife yes. supposed to uh, come out of the paradise? How to, 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 how to come out from that? Yeah, we no, realize, they, supposed, supposed to come, to, yeah. we realize that they came out of paradise through this, this uh, phenomenon, by, uh, when, when they uh, disobey Allah and ate the fruit. All right, but if they didn't eat the fruit, how would they have come out? How can I know? Because that scenario did not happen. So I cannot know on that because I don't know what is in Allah. Okay, but right. the plan, Allah plan, initial plan, he said it, I show you the verse, was to place man on planet Earth. Allah know his creation before creating it. You understand? So he know everything. Though this channel is how Adam was thrown out of paradise. But if it didn't happen, I'm telling Telling you that if that phenomenon Adam pa Adam passed that test, mm. he would have sh sh still be sent down to planet Earth because he was not destined to stay in paradise. That was not he was destined to be stationed here at a vast giant. Right. So, so, so it sounds like paradise was just a waste of time. Paradise is no waste of time. This no. Listen, paradise. Ad listen, paradise is not Allah. That's what Allah know his creation before creating it. Al his Al Ali is the most mentioned of his attributes in the Quran, all-knowing, in which you also believe. He know everything, nothing hid from him. Yeah. So, Alan know that whatever Adam is going to do, he's going to do. So, it's just that it happened this way, this channel, Adam was thrown out of paradise. But paradise is not through this again, that's why I told you, the reason why Allah created to test us. So he placed human beings here to go through this test. Those who pass the test, they are sent back to paradise, just like Adam. If you know, you read the story of Adam in Islam, how he went back to paradise when he died. You see, Allah told him, Allah even said, go, go, it's in, in the Quran, I don't know the verses in my head, where he said, go down to the earth. My, my mercy and my tranquility will come to you and I will be your guide till you return back to me. Human being will tell. So we believe when Adam was living on this planet and going through this trial, he go through trial with his children, with his family. So when he was so tired and he was yearning to go back to paradise, he was he, he remember a certain fruit of the tree in garden he used to eat. So he sent his children to go and see where it is. When they went, they found the Malaika Mount, Malaika, the angel of death. So they, but the children did not, when they come, they accompany the, 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 the Malaika Mount and the children returned and the Adam's, Adam's soul was taken in order to go back to paradise, in order to enjoy that, because he passed his time. You see, this is what we believe. So human beings, we are here as a test. When you pass the test, your final destination is in the paradise, or you are doomed forever in hellfire. So, so, so what you're saying is, you accept this, where it doesn't seem to be so hard to understand what Allah's point was, of, of why he had Adam there, making him so that he's going to die, 
rather than living forever. In paradise, you are. I told you, he, this was a first test for Adam. Our main purpose of being in this world is to be tested. Right, but, but also, going by what you're saying, yeah. Adam lived instead in paradise. Yeah. He still died eventually. When you go back to paradise, you don't die. You see, the first, listen, our first, we are not, we were not created mortals, okay? Adam was created immortal, uh, sorry, mortal. We were not created immortal, sorry, I'm mixing my language. We were created mortal beings, okay? So Adam was no station in paradise things. You are bringing Christian theology into Islam. Yeah, so, Islam. Saying, Islam. so we are saying that Adam was created to be placed on planet Earth, to be tested, okay? So therefore, in order to test that there must be our life, uh, death, we have to go through this and die and return back to paradise. No, that's what we mean, we believe. Right, so, so, so that's where the Bible is better than the Quran. No, the because Bible is not better. The Bible, the Bi the Bi when we Adam analyze it. Adam stay in par the paradise forever. Okay, so, so it means you are insulting God now. If you look, let me tell you why the, the Bible story is, is fucked up and it's not right. No, no, I'm not swearing, sorry for using that. Let me tell you why the Bible story is wrong. Let me put it that way. Because if I ask you, was Adam created perfect in the first place? Because you people believe that Adam was created perfect. Okay. God, we all know, is, 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 is perfection. When God meant to create something perfect, that thing will be perfect. Yeah. If that thing is not perfect, it means there is deficiency in God's creation. Do you believe that? Yeah. If God says, I'm going to create this thing perfect, mm. and this thing turns out to be not to be perfect, it means mm. God, there is deficiency in God's creation. Yeah. Yeah. So if you say that Adam was created perfect, mm. and you go against God, then where is the perfection? It's where you are insulting God that God is deficiency in no, creation. You don't understand what perfect means. What is perfect? Perfect is body. The body functions perfect. So you know you, you are saying that Adam body was only perfect. No, it functions perfect. I'm not doing a Muslim believe that human being that's Allah said uh Allah no, 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 Listen, Allah said he has perfect, perfect listen, when we say perfection in, in creation, Allah differentiated in Quran. I have perfected man man creation, the way he created. No, listen. No, the way we are we are created, our physics, our physical thing. No, death is different. Death is when the soul separated from the world. The body. Yeah, why does it separate? Because this is how God what God not created perfect. Because the body has an imperfection and it breaks down. So God, so Allah did not make man perfect if he could. I'm I, I told you, this is why I'm not saying that God, I said in our, you, when I tell you that God did not create us perfect, this is what Muslim believe. We are not perfect beings. God did not create us perfect. Allah said it in Quran that he has created weak. Very clear. That's bad, man. Listen, we are, li we are because, listen, the reason why Allah created us weak in order to test us. You are not getting it. Listen, do you believe we have been tested in this world? Do you yeah. believe? Because of Adam's mistake. Not because of God making us. No, 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 we come back to that. I want you to, I want you to answer something before we come back to Adam's mistake. That's why I was saying that if you people believe that, you are perfectly, you are indirectly insulting God that he is not good in his creation. He has deficiency when he says he's going to create something perfect and that thing turn out not to be perfect and go against him. That is deficiency. This means we believe if God wants to create something perfect, like the angels, let's use the angels as an example. The angels, God created them in a way that they can never disobey him. If, if they disobey God, it means God is God has deficiency in his creation. But we, do you understand the point I'm trying to make? No, do you understand? I understand the point, but it's a problem because God What problem? God what problem is it? God if God said, I'm going to make, I'm going to make angel not to disobey me. Listen to this very carefully. I'm going to create this angel not to disobey me. And he created the angel like that. And the angel turned out to disobey him. Is it perfect, perfect creation? Is it right? Is, no. It's not, not according to what he said. Then, then that, that is deficiency. Then God is not perfect in his creation. No, Unless the, that's what God, the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Human being, we are all meant to sin. If we were not to be sin, God would wipe our house and bring another creation. Because this is how God uh, created us. No, but here's the thing. It's, um, 
No, does Alan know who to add to Eagle? Does he know it? Of course! Uh, and he's still perfect, isn't he? And he's what? He's still he's perfect. Allah is perfect, of course. Yeah, he I created evil and death. Yeah. He created everything. Well, he knows it. He, well. know, he knows right, it. Right, so, so, but he will never do injustice. But he yeah, created I, I, it. I get that. But, so, if he's, if he's perfect and he knows good and evil, yeah. if he makes us angels, yeah. so not able to um, uh, do evil, yeah. then that means they're imperfect. Because he, 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 the, the perfection in him also has the knowledge of good and evil. <laughs> Uncle. We, we, in, in, I can use you, even human scenarios. Yeah. Human beings create things. Sometimes we create something to make, to make, to not make it very perfect that it will have a lifespan that it will die off. Then we can bring and bring another thing. Is it true or not? Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't mean we, um, we cannot do it. I know our our everything is cannot be. 100 percent I'm just using this as an example for you to get it. Allah know what is evil. When Allah tend to create something, how He wants it, that thing will stay that way. It will never go against how He created it. This is what I want you to understand. So the angels are created not to disobey God. In according to Islamic uh, uh, theology, if they go against God, it means God is. There is deficiency in God creation. That's what I'm saying. So Adam was, according to you guys, Adam was created perfect, not to go against God. But yes, because because you know, sir, if he create Adam perfect not to die, according to you, and then Adam turned out to die. Then God he has deficiency in his creation. This is what I want you to understand. Please, uncle, this is common sense for everybody to grasp it. It's just that you are not trying to grasp because you know that it doesn't go, go in line with what you do. Trust me. No, it's because the problem is with Islam. Your, the way you see perfect is you, you uh, rig the perfect perfection. Because we, the way we see perfect is based on God. No, no, we don't rig it. Of so, course. So, 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 we all base our yeah, perfection yeah. on God. Yeah, but this is what I'm saying. So because God knows with an evil, that means if he makes Adam perfect, the way to make him perfect would be to have uh, a perfect body. So that knowledge. According, we are know you people are saying that that Adam was created perfect. So if Adam was perfect, he would have been given a perfect body. Okay, a, a, a body that will not die. Yeah. But we don't believe it. The, the perfection I, I, I was talking about in Quran, you misunderstand to attribute to what you think I'm talking about. It's the total difference. When Allah says, no, 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 listen, I, I, I in, in Surah, I'm talking about man shape, you know, perfect shape Allah is talking about. Okay, I'm not, I'm not talking about, and I'm always saying, Allah make it clear that we are created weak. That's why we are weak. We are weak beings. God, listen, if God did not create us, we would never be weak. We are weak beings. Yeah, yeah, what you're saying is the way he corrects them weak, he did it in a perfect way. That's what you're saying. No, no, I didn't. That's not what I'm saying. You are, no, I'm no, not saying that he did. No, no, you are wrong. I love. That's why I said. I was coming to my point, you make me uh, uh, digress again away from it. I was saying that the reason why I love purposely creators weak in order to test her. Because if he doesn't take creators weak, how can you test something which is not weak? This is the issue. Allah gives us what? Nafs, desires. We place it on us deliberately, okay? And show us and give us guidance. This is part of our test. Okay, and say and give us guidance. That's why, listen, I hope you can listen to so many Islamic theology, what we believe. Listen, we have angels who are always encouraging you to do good. And there are um, satanic beings who are encouraging man to go astray. And upon that, Allah do not leave us alone. That's why we believe he sent uh, books, kitabs, the angel, the, the Torah, to guide man. He will never leave man alone. You see, he always gives us guidance. And he he perfect he gives us more more attributes in order to to to, to, to fight Satan. He even let me finish. He said Satan is not strong if you listen to me. So if you are if you believe in God and you you stay strong to God's teachings, Satan can never influence you to go away. It's only when you follow your desires that is where the the, the, the you fall to your own desire. Another thing I. Another thing I want you to know that even without Satan, without Satan, we man, some of us would have still go wrong. 
by following our you. desire. So and so. Right. Okay. So, so what you're saying is and that you're me the fact that the earth is like the this, all this trouble happened, yeah. and the they fact that the book, man I dies, yes. and the fact that um, we have things like the, um, you know, the ozone layer going bad, and all right. okay. the all right. the okay. the 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 that's what caused my allergy. No, no, no. What do you mean by? He set it up. Why? And let the decision. I, I didn't I say that. You have me twisting my words. No, he made us a test. He make, I say God make us weak as a test. Not about... Listen, we human beings I'm talking about here in the gym. God created us weak in order to test us. This is what I'm saying. Listen, listen. Listen. I've, Allah said in Quran, what you are talking He has put balance in there. He created the world, everything in a balance, in a good way. For mankind to thrive on it and say follow it that way do not change my creation okay but man the reason why you see all the pollution and all this it is man own because we are weak we trying to change the creation of what of god by introducing things that god do not want let me tell you and allah said it in the quran and even satan promised in the quran that he will let man do that he promised that he will let man change allah creation we could see the phenomenon in our day, day, day now even human beings we are changing our sex and all this in, in order to follow our desire. So this is why I'm talking about man, our weakness. The reason why we are created weak, because if we were perfect, we will not, we will not be able to be tested. Okay, just like the, 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 the angels. The angels, if God did not give us free will to come, to, to he cre if God wanted to create us all, as he said in Quran, to believe, to not go wrong. We all believe without going wrong. That is not the plan of God. God wanted to create another. Listen, let me finish. God wanted to create another creation. That's why I was. Listen, no. Those who go, that's why God is not expecting perfection from you from this world. Okay, He know that we are going to go wrong. What God is there to make an effort to not die in it to come to Him. That's why I was telling that when a human being uses his free will to come to God, I love you, you as a great more than the angels. Do you get it? So yeah, this is because we have a free will. You have a free will to go away, but you are using it to come to God. So he, he, he even in the presence of the angels, he's praising that particular person. Do you get the point I'm trying to say? So the, our weakness is to be tested. And I was telling you about how Allah is guiding us. He doesn't just give us this weakness and leave us alone. He sent prophets. Listen, because we are we are going. Listen, some people you are saying some people are still going to God. Majority said, but some they follow their desire. That's why there is hell, there is hellfire and there is heaven. This is the purpose of our creation. But you, Islam, this is what it is. But you people who want to say that God from the initial said we just wanted perfection for man, man. But man brought his own fault, and you are as it doesn't make sense because if you say, listen, listen. Okay, because if you, you why you will you, no, no, why, listen, God. listen, no, 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 yeah. I'm not blaming yeah. God, I'm blaming, so uh, made us, made us not perfect. God did not, of course, God. listen, God did not make us perfect, of course, if God made us perfect, we wouldn't have gone against him, but I'm telling you that you people believe that God make us perfect, uncle, yeah. meanwhile we go against God, so you are indirectly insulting God, because no. if God created man, Adam, Adam not to eat the fruit, Adam to stay loyal to him. If he wanted that, that's he would have, not, he would have, he would have, that's why you have holy angels even in your Bible. If he made Adam so he could eat the fruit. Okay, now, that's not let's, let's, okay, if God, I want to ask you what, uh, uh, let's go, I'll ask you a question. If God created Adam, perfect, why did he go against him? Tell me. Because that's part of perfection. <laughs> perfection, going against God is perfection. What, what is perfection? Because his mind is free. He has a free mind. Perfect. Let, define, de define perfection for me. Those angels that, that Allah made to obey, is their mind free? The, of course, listen, that's what I listen. Really? Their mind, the angels are not just robots. Okay? Allah created. Listen, I show you a verse whereby they were asking God, are you going to create a being that will go, uh, that will uh, share blood and corruption on planet Earth if their mind was not uh, free? 
will they be able to think like that? They are no robots in Islamic point of view. Let me finish my point. Listen, they are, they are speaking. But what I'm saying is that they never disobey the God command. Just like, uh, listen, they never disobey God command. But Adam disobey God command according to you. Adam disobey God command according to you. That is what. So the end. Listen, he was not made a robot. Of course, I believe he was not made a robot. I, I don't tell, but I believe God created designed him that to have a choice. To have a choice. And that choice, when you give a being a choice, just like I told you, the gene and the and a human being, we have this choice. The angels has no this choice. Then the being can use that choice to go against you or not. Just like even in here, if I have two children and I give them a choice to do whatever they like and I expect and I also tell okay I want you this your cho I want you to use that choice to come to me they will you they will, if they use the choice not to come to me can I blame them I am children Adam was a child listen I'm even an adult let's say I'm okay and even an adult even even an, an adult even even an adult I gave him my adult children choices to come to me or not and they didn't use their choice is to come to me and go wrong. Are you blaming me? Of course, I give. That's what I told you. I give you giving them guidance, isn't it? Give them guidance, telling them this is why it is wrong. But you are free to do whatever you want. And if you use your free will to come to me, this is the reward I'll give you. And my one of my son uses free will, and I give him that reward. And the other one uses free will to go away. Who is to blame? Him, not me. Because I give him that. This is the same thing with Adam and Allah's situation. I'm explaining to you, but you, you see, you agree with me, but I don't want to agree with, agree yeah, with that. Before you, you sit there and the two, the two children, sorry, the two adults. Like, yeah, yeah. So like, they had the 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 same Exactly, the same thing with me. That's why I told you, God never leave me. I keep on telling you, God give and make us me, but he give us God, and I keep on telling you, he bring, he, he, he station angels with us. Give us uh, books, give us uh, prophets to come and deliver his message. He never leave mankind alone. This is what, because he is testing us. He want to see the obedience ones to reward them with the paradise, everlasting paradise, whereby there is no test anymore, where everything is perfect. But this world, if we Muslims doesn't view it here as uh, paradise, we view, we view here as a testing ground for mankind to go back to what is perfect. Because on the day of al Kiyama, where paradise is open, there is no more toilet. Everything is peaceful. This is what Muslims do. So, by your problem, your problem, let's deal with it first. And you see where the problem is coming from. You believe that God created Adam not to die. God created Adam perfect. Me, and I was telling you, if God do that, and Adam turn out not to to go against God, then there is deficiency in God creation. This is what you don't want to grasp, Uncle. If he turned out to go against God, I'm talking. God created him not to disobey him, and he turned out to disobey him. It means God is there is deficiency. God is not perfect in His creation. This is what I'm telling you. God is my witness. To me, He should always obey. He should, yeah, just like the angel. This is what I believe, Uncle. Okay. And now explain why. Okay. And explain. Explain why a human. Being being God will create a human, perfect, then tell him, okay, Adam, I create you like this, you are not going to die, you are, you, are, you are, my main aim was to station you here in paradise, mm -hmm. my main aim was you to be in paradise forever with your wife, then this is how I create you, I create you to station you here, then Adam turned out to go against God and <coughs> to go out of paradise, explain that to me, how? No, how is it possible? The reason why he's perfect is because he has the understanding to choose. The fact that he can choose is part of the perfection. If he can choose, there's no way I'd say he's perfect. No, no, you are mixing two ways together. Choice is different from perfect, perfection. Choice is no, having, having choice. No, having choice is different from, from being perfect, okay? Yes, uncle, what is perfect? Describe, define perfection. Perfect can have 
I can of different meanings. Okay, but let's bring that in. Essentially, it's no defect. No defect? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Adam was having defects or no? No, because you can choose and he didn't have a defect. If he doesn't have the no. de de defection. I can choose. Like, as I hate AI, the computer industry. My judgment. Do you, do you know that the one the big defect I do not AI my will in the, the will of the right Father in a, a, a being. In a being. In a being. That is giving a choice. Mm -hmm. Can you never. Like can the never be found. One with us. No, because listen, especially human beings. If you have choice, I'm telling you that God gives us. We believe we have a limited choice. The not ever all choice. Or, 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 or everything we have choice to go do, which is another day I can explain to you. But the choice of choosing for our own self, God gave us that. That can never make us better because you will fall in a scenario whereby you may be attempted to go wrong or go right. Just like what happened to Adam. Okay, Adam was influenced by Satan because Satan from the beginning is his arch enemy. And, and we didn't tackle those for how come Adam was even uh, uh, go against God. But you even see it as a big deal. In Islam, it's not a big deal because Christianity, because without this, there is no Christianity, which I understand. But in Islam, we believe that, uh, the verse I show you, Allah already destined Adam to make, to be a moral being. You know, a moral being has to, you cannot be moral if you don't have choices. Do you believe that? Of course. You, because morality, you have to choose what is right or what is wrong. So human beings, we are moral beings. God, this is, Allah was testing Adam morality. So he know that this is the reason why he's going to station, as I told you about Islamic theology. Allah said in Quran, in so many places, he has created man to be tested. To, 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 to see who is good in this. It's all over. You want me to show you verses in the Quran? It's all over. You see? So, this is the reason why we were created. So, God is not expecting us to be perfect. Because that's why I was saying, we are deliberately being created this in order to be tested. This is so that when you use your free will, Uncle, when you go home, reflect what I'm saying. When you use your free will and your, 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 your choice to come to God, God view you higher than the angels. Because the, as you said, the angels are not designed that way. Human beings are designed that way. Because the angels, they cannot choose to go against God. Because if they do, then they, God then deficiency in God. And human beings, if we don't make mistakes, then God will wipe us out because Allah created us to make mistakes because we are weak human beings. That's why the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, if human beings were not committing sins, he would have wiped us out and bring another creation because that is how we were created. Which Muslim? Who, who, which Muslim? Then that person is not a Muslim. Listen, doesn't mean, listen, this hadith is emphasizing about our weakness, okay, about human weakness. It's not that God, God said very clearly he doesn't like sin. You have to use your right to come. But I'm saying that we, he knows that we go wrong because we are weak. I keep on talking. Holy Kali is Sanu Do'ifa. It's in Surah Al Nisa. Allah said he has created man weak. What is so clear than that? So who are saying that? We are weak creation, which we have to realize. We, we have this, God have, we we have desire. Do you have desire or not? We have temptation. We have worldly pleasure. And if upon that, we have Satan. And that was, I was telling you, even without Satan, man will still go wrong. First of all, who, who made Satan to go wrong against God? There was no other creation before because he has the same attribute as human being, the desire. So was Satan made perfect? No, that's what I well, That's what I told you. God said it's very clear in Quran. You see, I have created the jinn and mankind to worship you. So he, we are the only creation. He given this attribute to use our free choice to come in. So Satan was not made. So Satan, the, the, how he became, I was telling you how the angel question uh, was asking why God will create. The reason is that, that in Islam, the reason, the reason why Satan, who was called Iblis, do you know that? Iblis, he came to live with the, the angels in paradise because he was a, he was a pious 
B. He was a pious gene among the genes. The other, other genes were corrupting the, 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 the world. They were sharing blood. But he was devoted his time, always being obedient to God, worshipping God, more than the angels. So when Allah asked the, uh, the, the, the angels to go and drive and kill all the, uh, the, 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 the genes, he asked them, there is a, a servant among the gene who is called Iblis. Bring him closer to me. This is how Satan happened to be in the company of the angel. He was not an angel like the Christians believe. Because we believe angels, if we don't have fallen angels, that's why I keep on stressing. If Satan was an angel and he go, go against God, then God, there is deficiency in God's creation. Yeah. That's why God make it very clear that he was among the jinn in Surah al yeah, so, so, so what you just said there, you, you, you essentially admit that God made the place have, or Allah I should say, yeah. made it so that the place would have bad things happen. Bad things happen. But you said about the hadith, the hadith literally admit. Which one? But listen, God created, we believe everything, listen, God created evil, death, life to taste mankind. Everything that, it, it doesn't mean he wants you, you to choose what is bad, okay? That's why I say God gives you, give, I keep on, I don't know why you are quite, I keep on t telling you about how God is protecting man by giving us company, by giving us guidance, by giving us this thing to reason. But he's not expecting perfection from us because we know that we are not going to be perfect. Do not die on the wrong path. That's why Muslim, when we pray, we always pray we die on the right path. Always be on the right path. This is our theology. But he's not expecting, when I go wrong, that's why we pray five times a day, we ask for forgiveness. Because I can come and say something to you, which is not right, then I have to ask for forgiveness all the time before you, you die. This is what we believe. But we are not saying that you, sh you should be perfect because God created us, we, we are not perfect beings. So sin, I'm saying that because the way God created us, li listen, the Adis that you are saying some people, Muslims are running away from, if human beings, God created this way. You see, I was come to, if God is perfect in his creation, why will Adam go and I said there will, there will be deficiency, remember? If human being was not sinning and they were being like angels, yeah. then there is deficiency in God's creation because God did not design us this way. Allah. That's, so, <laughs> that's why I told you that the hadith, the point of a hadith was to emphasize this. That's what the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. If human being were not sinning, Allah would have wiped out because this is not how he created us. He created us in order to go wrong and to repent. Repent and tawbah is very, very big in the sight of Allah. When Satan, it's all when when the, when Adam we believe when Adam committed this in the first thing, Allah teach them about how to repent. I can show you the verse. Even Adam, that was the first beginning. Allah, Allah showed them how to repent and they repent. And he reached it to them mercifully and said, go down because they were destined to be stationed on earth. Go down to the earth. There will always be my, my blessing upon you, my guidance. I will never desert you. He was worried to come down, but Allah assured him. And this is exactly what Allah fulfilled by sending prophet upon prophet. And the last of them was Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa to guide man. And the Quran is a preserved book that is come to guide man. That's why there is everything in it for human guidance. That okay, so, so the, 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 the Bible tells you the true guidance and to show you about perfection. Okay. This is Matthew 5 and 43. He says, You have heard that it has been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despise and use you and persecute you. That ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and the unjust. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same. If ye salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans so. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. So there you go. So that's the commandment we have. The commandment, there is a lot of it. If you dissect it and analyze it, you see it will fall apart. How? Let me tell you. Then I, I just heard one, one thing I catch on it. Like, love your enemies. Yeah. Be kind to your enemies and all that. Yeah. Even if they come to attack you and yeah. all this. Yeah. Okay. If I bring a gun now and point it to your head and start to kill you, I'm going to sit down for me to kill you. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> what sort of what sort of love is that? Are you not gonna defend yourself? That is no no God listen, God did not I'm telling you God decree is listen, decree is different from what we are talking about. I believe that whatever Allah decree, whether I'm gonna die from gun short, it's gonna happen. Okay, it's written. But that doesn't mean listen, I should stay idle. I don't know what is Degree. Allah said, somebody come to attack you, you fight back. You don't sit down and say, oh, uh, I love him, I love him. I'm gonna. Meanwhile, you, even while you are preaching, Christian majority in Christian history, it never happened. If it was to happen in Christian history, Christianity would not, wouldn't, wouldn't have reached you. I'm telling you, I'm tell, there are so many. Listen, there are so many Christian history. Christianity is just like Islamic religion. It's an Spanish, expan, uh, expansionist uh, religion. It go to places to expand. People attack them. They fight back. There is always self-defense in in, in Christianity. So Where by? I'm telling in Crusaders is one of them. Chris Crusaders. Uh, my question. Eh? All Christians. So are you saying no? Not all. Uh, uh, every Christian who is truly Christian is not, okay. Maybe you are right. You can say that they are not following the teaching of the Bible. Yeah. Okay. I, I'll give that to you. Let me say something. If uh, but I'm saying that this verse particular, mm. if you look at it in a morality and a logical point of view, mm. there is so many problematic with it. Because this one would have wiped out. If Christians were to obey this verse mm. that you are talking about, yeah. there will never be Christianity today with you. Even in Africa, we see what happened there. Forcing people, uh, uh, using uh, slavery people, and so many things. But if they were to be abiding to what you are saying, there will never be Christianity. Islam does not say that. God make it very clear. Defend yourself. That is what. Defend. If my enemy, listen. If my enemy come to me to fight me, I fight him back. If he want peace, I am obliged to bring peace. If he is, uh, then if if he want peace now, and I'm now insisting I don't want peace, then I'm now going against God. Do you understand what I'm saying? So. We in Islam, as a Muslim, yeah. when my enemy come here to kill me, I fight back. Chop him up. Of course, I will chop him up <laughs> and God will bless me again. Okay. If he kill me, if he kill me, then I die as a shuhad. Right. Okay? I die as a martyr. Okay. Then God will bless you. He doesn't say, I should just stand here and come and chop me into pieces. What sort of love is that? <laughs> right. so, so, so let me read. This, this is what God says in our Bible. Okay. So, so this is Revelation 6 and 9. This is what's going to happen. Uh, and when you had opened the fifth seal, I saw on the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried in a loud voice saying, How long will Lord hold the truth? Does that not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And why grow to give an unto them, every one of them? And it was said unto them that they should rest yet for the season, until their fellow servants also and their brethren, that should be killed as they were, should be fulfilled. So God expects us to get This is man made waste. I, that's why I don't, I don't, listen, this is not coming from God. Okay, okay. Uh, listen, listen. The Bible, eh, we, that is another topic. Actually, I'm gonna go. Okay. So the Bible, as you know, we Muslim believe there are so many human beings who put their hands there. Even Jesus said in the Bible, He did not come with, He, he did not come, He came with, came with a sword. He's talking about self defense here. <laughs> listen, Jesus, because Jesus was minority, Jesus did not have the strength. Listen, Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he started his preaching, he could not fight back because he did not have the strength, isn't it? From the Maka period. Well, who, if, if that's why God did not command him. If you look at Jesus, Jesus was a lonely figure. He came, everybody organized against him, the Jews and the Romans. So he didn't have any, even if he wanted to fight, he cannot fight. Hey, man, how are you? <laughs> Emmanuel, how are you? I see your mark, how can I forget? Emmanuel, eh? you can remember my name. Abdul, of course, eh? Abdul Razak. How are you, Emmanuel? Wow, it's, it's been a while. I went to Ghana for a long time. I, remember, yeah. I went, you see, you see, I went to Ghana for almost uh, eight months. They uh, do some, you know, I just, I just returned maybe. About one and a half months. 
No, I was saying some point that I forget said we might well come and uh, get into it. Uh, I was saying I was saying something. Okay, come on, maybe it will come. Tell, tell me what you are saying. Yeah, no, what I'm saying is that if, if a person wants to know if their God is, is real. Yeah, I was talking about all that with Jesus. The reason why you people keep on saying Jesus did not fight anybody, he didn't do anything. Listen, we know the circumstances in which Jesus was. Jesus did not have the power to fight back his enemy. That is a reality, that is a truth. He didn't have. And I'm using our prophet Muhammad as an example, his initial state from the, the beginning, the initial revelation in Mecca, when he did not have what? Power. He didn't have anybody. They were a number. They were stronger than them. So how can you fight in that community? But when they, he moved to Medina and Allah, the Muslim community started to expand and the enemies are still being violent over there. That is where it came. So Jesus Christ, you can use Jesus Christ as example to yes. compare to Muhammad. Yes, can, yes. Because okay, tell me why you can. You can. Jesus, remember he raised Lazarus from the dead? So if you, no, let me finish. Jesus has an army of yeah. 10 people yeah. with swords. One gets killed, he just raises them from the dead. And they can fight forever and they win the battle. This is not how we all know. Listen. You see, you see, let's say, yeah. Uncle, you are a reasonable person. Yeah. And I'm, do you think that mm. we all know, okay, let's say, I know we don't believe that our revelation, some of our revelation are coming from, especially Christians, for instance. They don't believe in the Muhammad. They don't believe he was getting revelation from God. Mm. All the prophets, you can agree that God sent prophets and they were being persecuted and killed. Do you think that God, if God wanted to equip them, even one, one lonely figure to defeat everybody, he would wouldn't I? Yeah, Samson. That's what he's he, saying. Samson. No, listen, I don't believe in that story. That story. That's, that's your but, problem. No, no, listen. Even Samson, Samson, uh, he, they chop his hair out and he grow his hair, he becomes strong. <laughs> no, that's a fable story. But, okay, I'm talking apart from that. Even some of the Bible admit that so many prophets were killed preaching the name of God. But I, what I'm just saying is that God did not want it out. God just wanted human struggle. This test, God is testing his prophets. And the, that's why the prophets said the law of the The most tested among human beings are the prophets. That sounds mean. Uh, listen, the most tested among humanity are the prophets, number one. And if you look at the stories of the prophets, they all go through tribulation and test, okay, in their lives. Just because this is how God created to be tested. If God wanted, he could have just killed everybody. He could have just, but he want man to do it. If, when I say Jesus, I'm talking about humanity, but I'm not talking about what God can do. If God wanted to equip Jesus to, to, to kill everybody, because that's his way, he would do it. But he, this is not how he, he, he wanted. He wanted, he, no, he wants, not only him, that's why I said all the prophets, including Jesus. But when it comes to uh, uh, this kind of struggle, God wanted us to do it, some of us to, to struggle for his cause, to see how truthfully we are. Allah said in Surah Al-Ankabut, do you think you go to paradise without being tested? So many people were tested before you. You see, this is to see how you do it. You don't better come like what is happening, but we know they, they are truthful, they are shahadat. Some of them die as martyrs and all this. It's all part of God's plan. This is the test we are going through. So don't bring me. I'm just talking about how if Jesus will happen. I'm, I'm not saying that this is how. I'm just using my logic to tell you about this. I'm not saying that this is, what would have, this is what would have happened to Jesus. I'm saying that Jesus was in a position where he was not strong military. He was not a military leader. He didn't have power because he came. He didn't. Power. When I say no, no, that I'm not talking about. I'm talking about physical and war battle and all this. He didn't have it, my friend. We know that Jesus, we, we, uh, the disciples were outnumbered by by the, by the enemies. He was dealing dealing with 
the Jews and the Romans and all this. So he couldn't even be in a position to to fight to to fight uh, 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 to fight, but to, to use the sword against his enemies. This is what I'm telling you. But you you know that what I'm saying. So I'm forget about God giving power or this uh, uh, spiritual. This is not what I'm talking about. Muhammad Sallallahu. Listen, Muhammad Sallallahu. God, God, you keep you guys keep on talking about miracles. Wallah, he did uh, perform a lot of miracles. You know, but we are not using that kind of. You see, we don't. You see, that is why Christian so many people go astray because they put they, they put everything in miracle. Me even the miracle of Moses. Jesus didn't do it. Didn't talk about it. Miracle spirit. Me, I see that as as even the, the most the most challenging to make water stand on both sides of the mountain. So. But all this is done by God. God performed miracles through his prophet. But you want to, because you people always say Jesus is God. Jesus he was doing it himself. Meanwhile, he said in the Bible, he do it by the permission of God. Meanwhile, you are not looking at it that way. You are looking at it, he did it by himself. himself. That's not what, he himself by himself, he can do nothing. You, all this, if you analyze the verse, it, it doesn't make Jesus God. But you want to, you want to, to elevate him to be God. So By the permission of God, the Quran confirms it. By the permission, and that's what I told yeah, you. So what Moses split the water by himself. No, but you By the permission of God. Going to the wrong subject. No, it doesn't matter who he is. It matters. It matters. In Islam, it matters. No, listen, so if I'm listen, it, 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 to, to Christianity, but not in Islam. Even me myself, mm. when I, God give me ability, mm. the first thing I thank is God. You see, when I don't, when I have an ability to do something, I thank God for God. God give me the ability, not my own self. I don't have the strength. God gave me this. But you people, this is what I'm telling you. Everything is, God give you the ability, so you thank the Creator first before everything. But, and this exactly if you believe that you don't believe that Jesus is God, because everything was performed by God on behalf of Jesus. This is what you are bad Christians. They don't believe that you say he's God. <laughs> no, no, I was, I'm just, we just, we just digress to that, that particular topic. But what I'm saying is that, if you look at your theology, especially we were saying, I was very happy we are talking about Adam's story and all this. Mm. But you people, the, especially the creation, the creation, believing in Adam being created perfect and go against God, well, I think about it very well. No, I well about it. Because if you look, Islamic theology makes sense. <laughs> because if you look, that's what God just keep on differentiating it. To let us know that Adam was not created to be stationed in paradise. Adam was not cre created perfect. Adam was not created it mortal. Say that. Does, does it say in the Quran he wasn't made perfect? Allah is generalizing human beings. No, Adam, no, human. Adam is part of human. Adam is part of humankind. He was the first human being. Even, even, even in, the, in, 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 in our um, uh, prophetic teaching, it's very clear Adam was not created perfect. I say for everybody. Even I just, I keep, when Allah says, you think Adam is excluded? So, so in the hadith, does it specifically say that? Adam, no, I, I'm not, I, I haven't got any hadith whereby it specifically says Adam was not created perfect. But I'm saying that we Muslims believe that Adam was not created perfect. No doubts about that. Yeah, but who told me that? That's the problem. Because the Quran says so. I keep on telling you, man is created weak. Man is created with Allah is general mankind, every human being, including Adam, including the prophet. Yeah, so you can't have a perfect week. Eh? You have a perfect week. Per perfect week. Perfect week. No, no, there is no perfect week. Weakness means to have deficiency, yeah, yeah. To, to, to go wrong. This weakness uh, to be tired, to be to need something. So, 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 this is what I'm talking so, about. But then that means that you're insulting Allah and Allah is insulting you. So. No, no. This is how God created us. Because it, a, and I already we see, listen, Allah created us that way to be do us. What did I tell you? It's a test. Okay, if and, God and okay now. That's a bad way well, okay, doing. now. Do you believe in uh, God testing us in this world? Do you believe that? That 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 that, that, that phrase. Do you believe that that that, that uh, theology? That happens, but it's not his design. I said, do you believe that God is testing us in this world as a Christian? Please uncle, answer this question. Then I'll ask you a question. Do you believe that God in this world 
brought us in this world to be tested. Do you no, believe that? No, no, no. Christ, so many Christians, I can call a Christian here, he's going to say yes. No, I, I talked no, to him. No, I'm not saying that. Adam was the one. No, 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 I'm not saying God bless I'm not. I'm saying that. Do you believe in a human being tested? I'm not saying that he, the purpose. I know you don't believe that God God created to test to, to be tested. I can tell you the, the three fundamental reasons why God created mankind. First of all, let me tell you the three reasons. Number one is to get to know who God is. It's very clear in Surah Al-Adariyat. To get to know who God is, knowing God, that's number one. The three go in line with each other, okay? You can't separate it. Let me just say it to you. Because Get to know who God is, the true God. Yeah. Then single him out for worship. That's number second. And the third is to be tested. These are the three. Go in line with each other. You can't separate it. Because if you don't know who God is, how do you worship him? So it, you need to know who the true God is. We are, we, some people are worshiping cows. Some people are worshiping human beings like you guys. Some people are worshiping different twice. Statues. So God wants you to figure out who the true God is. Kaaba is it's a house of God. I know you're gonna bring another. Yeah, we don't. We but it's a direction. It's a Kibla. Do you know Kibla? Yeah, yeah. Kibla. Yeah, the Kibla. That was the first house built by Abraham. Same, same, same. No, no, it's not. Well, like, you, uh, we are gonna bring uh, to dive. Uh, let's forget about it. Another argument. Uh, I, I heard about this, but let's not talk about. It. Listen, I'm just telling you the three reasons. So, which you will agree with? God, if you don't know the true God, you can worship Him. I believe you believe, you believe that as well as a Christian. Yeah. Be, you, you, so this is one of the reason, and the reason if you know good God, you single Him out for worship because God does not want you to associate partners with Him. I know you said that you are not associating partners with Him, which we don't believe. Then to be tested, the test is because without worship we cannot be tested. Do you understand? In Islam, okay, let me broaden it. In Islam, we call it ibadah. Ibadah means so is is a broad word. Not the, only this spiritual three, three, uh, five prayer we are doing, we consider worship. Worship is easy. If I'm kind to you, I'm worshiping God. If I do charity, I'm worshiping God. If I smile to you, I'm worshiping God. You understand? If I'm kind to my parents, I'm worshiping God. It, it, it worship, we call it ibadah. It's very broad. What God commanded, the God command, is worship in our sight. You understand? So without this, we cannot be tested because this is where the test comes. God wants you to do this to this man. If you refuse to do this, you are, God tells you to do it, but you are refusing to do it. So you are failing the test. Do you, do you, do you see the connection? Yeah. So this is part what we believe. This is what we believe. So uh, Islam just makes sense as compared to Christianity. Because if you said that a man, in the first way, God created Adam to station it on earth, to, be, to, 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 to live forever, then he you go against God, yeah. then you are questioning God initial creation. God created him initially. How come he go against God? Yeah. This is the question. I want you to go home and figure it out. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Perfect. You are insulting if God, okay, if God created this to station on earth and this thing happened to 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 to, to go against God and he take him out of paradise. It means God did not create him in the first place to be stationed there. Yeah, but here's the thing though. When, in the Bible, it says that God made man in his image. So if God's going to make man in his image, man is going to have to have Okay, this will. image, this they image. That's what, the, what the God said, he made man in his image, which we Muslims will believe. But we have different meaning interpreting this. What do you mean by God made man in his image? Are you saying that God looked like a human image, image in a physical way? Or what are you talking about? Tell me. As a Christian, no. Image means mm -hmm. how he is, so he can think, he got free will, and he can speak, he can speak. So it's, it's the uh, image is you know like how when you say someone someone's image, you know like a person they can damage the image by doing something bad. Isn't it? Yeah, you heard that saying. Yeah, yeah, to damage can... your image, to damage. Uh, uh, your reputation, who you are. Yes, that's, that's image, that's, that's a that, so you mean that's how God is talking about? Uh, comparing man. In Islam, we, we are saying that when God said he created man in his image, we are talking about the attributes God has. He gives man the same attributes, but not in perfection. 
in a limited way. You see, this is where we differ. God is know all knowing. God is knowledgeable. God gives us knowledge. That sets us apart mm. from other beings. Okay? God, but our knowledge is limited. Mm. We don't have all knowledge. God, we can see, but we cannot see all. Listen, you cannot see from behind. You see, but God see. Listen, there are more than seven billion people on planet Earth. God see everyone at the same time. Plan the other creation. You can say, God, God, God speak. We speak, but our speak is limited. We have limited speech. God speech is the ultimate speech. So this is what we are talking about. Image. When we say, but ours are limited. God is complete perfection. Do you agree with that or not? This is what Islam we believe. Yeah, but, but the problem is, remember I said to you... Remember, you. Yeah, well, remember I read in Matthew about being perfect, yeah. but God is perfect. No, it's not saying to be like him in terms of strength or, or living perfection, forever. Perfection, or, our perfection, we can be limited in perfection. We are not all perfect. That's why, in yeah, our, in yeah, this yeah. image, let's say, everything we possess with God, we have it in a limited form. Okay, this is what I want you to understand. Yeah, yeah, in Islam, so we cannot be all right with God, in the same standard with God. That's right, but remember what I read in Matthew, he still wants us to be perfect in, what we, in the way God, we are now. God wants us to try to be perfect in dealing with him. But he, when we do, yeah, we, when we fall, listen, we God, God does not say we should go do evil, okay? God does not say we should go uh, uh, raping and murdering people. Yeah. But God knows that we are capable. We can fall victim to that because we are we have desires and we have weakness in us. God knows that from our creation. If He didn't want us to do that, if God didn't want us to be weak, if God didn't want us to be weak or to do something evil, He would have designed us that way that we will never do wrong. Just like the angel, I'm using it in Islamic theology. And then this is imperfect. But because God created this way to test, and let's yeah, I'm happy that He's bringing us, bringing us back to the to the test. Because if you create something perfect, something to not have weakness, it is difficult to test it. And when our purpose, one of the purpose is to be tested. So God put it and give us guidance. This guidance to use to come to him. He never leaves us alone, as I, I keep on telling you. He created more than even what. Listen, uh, there is some story about Adam. When Adam, Allah created Adam, and he was telling him about all this, and Adam was crying. He told him, Don't worry, you are more equipped than anything. He started to, uh, to tell Adam about what he's going to do to him. Listen, he started to tell him how guidance he will give him. Oh, a uh, revelation, being there for him. How Satan is not going to be weak towards his, his slave. And Adam started to smile because he know that God is not going to leave him alone. If God was to leave us alone and say we should figure it out, out ourselves, then that's where you say it is unfair. But in Islamic theory, we believe God equipped us. And he even told us that God, Satan is very weak in Quran in so many places. Mm. Satan is a weak entity to why that? Because when I say Auzu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim, which is the first thing we do when we, we, we are gonna pray or recite Quran. Satan ran away. But those who are going to Satan are those who are following their desire. We call it nafs. So Satan is not weak. We are more stronger than what Satan can do. So God equipped us. But, but he gave us this weakness in order to test us. Without the weakness, we cannot be tested. This is the theology of Islam, Uncle. And I want you to think about it. I need to go, Uncle. Do you have one final way that is for me so that I, 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 I can go? No, no, of course I think I about really. it. That's why I bought the, yeah, yeah. the Moses one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, the Moses one. I know you are not going to. I tell you, Allah was expanding about his thought about everything. But you want to say that he should have told him, which I, I, I don't agree with you. We may, we may agree to, uh, the Lord, uh, to agree. Uh, uh, but. Uh, this is how I view it, and this is how Muslims view it. You see, but also think about what I say about this perfection and a deficiency, deficiency in if God really created. Please also think about it, because for me, for me, if if Adam was meant to be stationed in, in paradise forever and he go then then you are indirectly insulting God. I'm telling you, because it, there is no way, there is no way. That's why in, in Christianity you believe in fallen angels. In Islam we cannot believe in that. Because but we believe that angels they don't go against God. Yeah, but That's why they, they won't make perfect. Because that no, they were rather made perfect not to go against God. So if they go against God, they are not perfect beings.
there. There is if God said I created this to obey me, like He said, you know, in in in, in Islam, then they go against Him. Then it's, God, God does not know what he's doing. It's just like human being, you create something and say it's not gonna fall. Like I create this mobile phone and say it will never damage. And it damage. Then it, I, I, I got deficiency in my, my, my creation. This is what I want you to think about. Okay, nice to see you. Uh, I'll see you next week. Hopefully I'll, I'll come next week to talk more. Uh, okay, take care of yourself. All right. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right. Israelites will return to take down the